All right, so what is up YouTube? It is Jug here and today I'm going to be bringing back a series that a YouTuber did a while ago who has since left the zombie community and I really like the series so I want to give a massive shout out to him. He is the JFK Gamer. He is a guy that originally started this uh, series a very long time ago, literally like five years ago and it is called A History. Now I used to watch it a lot when I was really really back into the storyline. Now I'm still very very much into the storyline but this was when I was like prime and I was so interested because I was learning so much about it and this guy obviously helped me out a lot. But since then we have had the timeline and a few things he said on these uh, videos are a little bit inaccurate so I thought I'd come back over myself and do a rework of his series called A History. So if you guys could drop a big fat like it would be absolutely awesome. I really, really would appreciate it. Also, go and check out the JFK Gamer down in the description below, and uh, you could probably compare our episode, see what I could do better. It would be very, very nice moving forward. But uh, apart from that, guys, we're going to get into the video, so thank you so much for watching, and uh, let's get on to a history of Ultimus Richterfen. Edward Richterfen, aka Teddy or Eddie, is one of the most crucial characters in the Call of Duty Zombies timeline. He is voiced by Nolan North, and he is a character who is evil, maniacal, and is schizophrenic. But a lot of you guys may have the question, where did Richterfen all start, and how did he become the character he is up in Buried? Now, we're going to be starting off with his history right here. On August 30th, 1925, Dr. Edward Richterfen joins the Illuminati. On July 2nd, 1939, Richterfen is invited to Group 935 by Dr. Maxis. He agrees to join them to spy on them for the Illuminati. On that same day, Maxis and Richterfen start working on the MTD, also known as a teleporter. They get little success and the test subjects are teleported, but their chemical composition is changed, leaving them schizophrenic and unlike their previous selves. On August 5th, 1939, using 115, Maxis and Richterfen resurrect one of the dead test subjects for the first time. It starts to obey them, however suddenly attacks them. The test subject is then instantly killed. On September 3rd, 1939, Richterfen begins development of the Wonder Waffle DG2. On December 4th, 1939, during a test trial, Richterfen and Schuster successfully teleport a walnut three feet. This is the first test where the subject's chemical composition has stayed the same. On December 5th, 1939, Maxis is unimpressed with Richterfen and Schuster's work, calling it Edward's walnut delivery and declares it's a waste of time. Richterfen then finds out that Maxis has worked in agreement with the Nazi party, creating weaponry in exchange for funding. Richterfen feels this will lead to many drawbacks and carries on working on the teleporter behind Maxis's back. On January 4th, 1940, Richterfen volunteers to be the first human test in their working MTD. As he is so confident in its success, he is then teleported to the moon, where he sees the MPD, a pyramid-shaped gateway to the ether. Hidden by the apothecaries, Richterfen touches the pyramid and is electrocuted. He then starts hearing voices in his head, one of which is the Shadow Man. The pyramid then teleports him to Shangri-La. However, Richterfen is corrupted by the Dark Aether and starts going insane with an obsession to find Agatha. On January 5th, 1940, Richterfen is worshipped by the natives of Shangri-La. An altar is built in his name. Richterfen encounters the Focusing Stone for the first time. On January 23rd, 1940, after near a month of absence, Richterfen returns to Schuster with a plan to build Griffin Station. On January 30th, 1942, Richterfen completes the Wonderwaffe DG2 prototype. On February 1st, 1942, Griffin Station is fully built. Richterfen names Dr. Groff lead scientist and returns to the Earth to continue his act with Dr. Maxis, as Groff and Schuster try to work out how to open the MPD. On July 18th, 1942, after killing a rat in the moon base, its death starts to fill up the tank, charging the MPD. They report their findings to Richterfen. On July 20th, 1942, Richterfen begins sending soldiers and scientists to the moon to be killed. Their souls are used to charge the MPD. On December 8th, 1942, Richterfen shares the Element 115 based Alexa recipes with Griffin Station. They develop Mule Kick. On December 14th, 1942, Richterfen creates the Monkey Bomb. On July 15th, 1945, Richterfen travels to the Siberian facility or Call of the Dead to do further research on the Super Soldiers. He brings Samantha along with him as he is her temporary guardian. On August 1st, 1945, Richterfen receives three subjects Nikolai, Pablo, and Takio. On September 2nd, 1945, Richterfen reports Pablo has died following a spleen removal. He also reveals he's been performing experiments on Samantha. On September 10th, 1945, Richterfen reports another spy has been captured and will be brought in to replace the Mexican. The test subject is Dempsey. On September 20th, 1945, Richterfen documents the personality traits of each of his test subjects. Dempsey's intellect seems low, but his will is strong. Takio is still staring at the floor muttering what sounds like some kind of proverb over and over again. 
Nikolai has recently begun responding to stimuli, but only after injections of a new serum made primarily from vodka. Richterfen notes that their minds have almost been entirely broken, with no memory remaining of who they once were. On September 24th, 1945, Richterfen is ordered by Maxis to return to Doris to continue work on the MTD. On September 27th, 1945, Richterfen returns to Doris with Dempsey, Nikolai, Takio, and Samantha. On October 8th, 1945, Groff reports to Richterfen the MPD is nearly ready. On October 12th, 1945, Groff radios Richterfen to inform him that the device has been powered up and is awaiting the conduit. Richardson says he will proceed with Operation Shield and dispose of Maxis and Samantha. On October 13th, 1945, Maxis and Richardson perform teleportation tests on subjects number 3, 4, and 5, where Maxis uses Fluffy. As test 6 fails, Fluffy, now changed, is teleported back into the chamber. Samantha sees Fluffy and runs into the teleporter. Maxis chases after her, and Richtofen steals them both into the test chamber and teleports all three of them. On October 14th, 1945, Richtofen returns to Doris and awakens Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai. With no idea of who they are or who Richtofen is, they agree to help him. The four would become known as Ultimus. On October 21st, 1945, Ultimus travels to the Rising Sun facility, also known as Shinonuma. They recover Richtofen's diary, and upon reading it, Richtofen begins to form his plan to defeat Samantha. On October 28, 1945, Ultimus returns to Doris. With his diary, Richterfen plans to use the teleporter to return to the moon and confront Samantha. The DG2 overloads the teleporter and sends him through time, causing Richterfen to drop his diary. On October 28, 1963, from Doris, Ultimus teleports to Kino. This is the first time they travel through time and space. Ultimus locate a lunar lander and fly to the Ascension facility. On November 6, 1963, Ultimus free Gersh and depart from the Ascension facility. On March 17th, 2011, Ultimus arrive at the Siberian facility, also known as Call of the Dead, where they find themselves trapped behind a steel door. Richterfen requests the celebrities to uncover the real device. Ultimus then travel to Shangri-La to acquire the next artifact they need to defeat Samantha, the Focusing Stone. On April 25th, 1956, Ultimus arrives in Shangri-La. With the help of Brock and Gary, they acquired the Focusing Stone. On October 13th, 2025, using the Vril device and the Focusing Stone, Richterfen completes his grand scheme and swaps bodies with Samantha on the moon, giving him full control of the zombies and the ether. Maxis contacts the remaining members of Ultimus through the station's electronics and asks for their help to defeat Richterfen. They agree. They launch missiles into the Earth, leaving it fractured and broken. They severs Richterfen's connection to the ether, but he maintains control over the zombies. On June 28th, 2027, as humans consume the zombies' flesh, they begin hearing Richterfen's voice. He tries to get them to build global polarization devices, chasing his new plan to mend the rift in space-time and gain full control over the ether. On October 21st, 2035, Stulinger, having consumed zombie flesh, is contacted by Richterfen, who orders him to construct the polarization device for him instead of Maxis. October 22nd, 2035, still hoping to regain control, Richterfen teleports Victus to Province 22, where he demands that Studinger activates a second polarization device in his favour. December 31st, 2035, the transit crew arrive in Buried, a western town beneath a mining facility in Angolia. They hear the voices of Maxis and Richterfen again and activate the final polarization device in favour of Maxis. Now crafted by the Dark Aether, he reveals his true intentions to the transit crew and punishes Richterfen by trapping his soul in a zombie. So there we have it guys, that is the full story from start to finish of Ultimus Richterfen that we know of from the zombies timeline. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and hopefully you have got a clearer picture of the origins and the history of Ultimus Richterfen. Now this isn't the origins Richterfen, we have not done him yet but we will do him in a future episode. This is just the Richterfen that we have from Nactar and Toten or you know originally Shino Numa all the way up until Buried. So if you guys did enjoy, I would really, really appreciate it. If you could drop a like and also go check out Greg FPS because he has supplied me with a load of gameplay that I needed for this video. So I definitely recommend you go check him out. His link is down in the description below as well as to JFK Gamer. Like I said, he created this series, so I don't want to be like fully stealing it off him, but I would just love to get a few things right. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you could smash a like on this, let's go for, let's go for 150 likes. That'd be absolutely awesome. You guys have been a crazy with support recently and I can't thank you enough. But apart from that, guys, I am going to go. Hopefully, it's been an interesting and helpful video. And now you guys can get on to the zombie slaying days, knowing that you know the whole story of Ultimus Richterfen. Hopefully, soon we should be doing Maxis because I would love to do Maxis. But apart from that, guys, like I said, I am going to go. Thank you all for watching. You've been absolutely awesome. And I'll see you all later. Peace.